Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're actually gonna be installing the TRD side skirts. Now in the previous video, we installed the TRD rear wing, and now this time we're gonna flow it all together and do the side skirts. So obviously I'll have something for the front, but this video is gonna be all about the side skirts. The thing about this kit is that since it's OEM and from TRD, the instructions came completely in Japanese. You don't really see this kit in the US too often, and for the most part, it's only in Japan. Obviously if you import it like I did, you can have it wherever you want but since they're based out of japan the instructions came completely in japanese so obviously that raises the problem for me as someone who can't read japanese now i have to figure out how to install it on my car based off of just pictures one of my favorite parts about this kit is actually the two-tone so as you can see it's the original blue color here and then i've got this matte black secondary it's just kind of like this really nice strip that runs across the side skirt now the car originally came painted in this Raven D4S black color. So I left these little fins here as well as the roof that color. But for the kit, I decided, well, if the car is gonna be black, then I should get these in black too. So they're actually painted in black underneath and then I've wrapped in blue. Now from the factory, when you order it also, it comes with this part painted matte black as well. But just to protect it, I actually did wrap the secondary color in matte black. So this vinyl wrap is actually from Avery Dennison and Avery Dennison is by far are my favorite vinyl wrap company. It's just the easiest to work with. It just feels the best and it gives you the best results. So let's say you're getting out of the car and you might accidentally hit the bottom of it with your feet because it kind of sticks out past the door and you know, it could happen and I feel like it's inevitable. So I decided, well, instead of scratching the paint, it would be better to scratch the vinyl wrap and vinyl wrap is self healing to an extent, but if it does get scratched past that extent, I can definitely just rewrap it and it would be a lot cheaper and more, pretty much just more cost effective to rewrap it than it would be to try and get it repainted and matched and just go through that hassle. So I think doing the two-tone right here with the added protection of the matte black is gonna be a good combination. So I wanna help you guys all out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install the TRD side skirts on your car. Now, from my understanding, I think no one else has done this video, especially with the 2017 and up side skirts. So it's definitely gonna be beneficial if you're installing these on your car to watch this video. The side skirt came pre-painted in the original color of the car, which is black. But since my car is wrapped in this nice blue made by Avery Dennison, I'll need to wrap the side skirt to match. The process for wrapping the blue part in the matte black part is the same, so I'll show you all how I wrap the matte black part. I'll have all of my materials I'm using in the description of this video. I started by cleaning off the surface, then laying knifeless tape. Knifeless tape is great because I'm able to get really sharp lines without cutting on the car. To prevent the wrap from sticking onto the part I don't want to wrap, I'm laying down painter's tape. Once it's ready, I clean it off one last time using a tack cloth. A tack cloth is slightly sticky so it will pick up any remaining dust particles. Now it's time to lay down the vinyl. After the vinyl is laid, we can pull off the knifeless tape and remove the excess vinyl. I decided that in order to help blend the side skirt into the fender liner, I'm actually going to wrap the edge the same matte black. I just feel like it would look a bit out of place having a bit of the blue inside of a matte black fender liner. Now it's time to install the side skirt. The cool thing about going with OEM is that you don't need to drill any holes. The car actually comes with pre-drilled holes that are just covered up with rubber seals. A lot of people overlook the details when it comes to things like this, but I feel like when everything is designed at the same time, rather than as an afterthought, everything just flows well and makes installation a breeze. It all sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised at the difference these little details make. Go under the car and remove five of these rubber seals. You'll have to go through the undercarriage spray, but that's not going to cause any issues. Then remove the plastic clips on the inner part of the fender liner here. 
as well as one on each corner along the bottom. So just looking at the side skirt one more time, you can essentially use it as a guide to see where the clips would be located. This template was included with the kit, so go ahead and cut it out. It's really nice because it's actually a sticker, so you're going to be able to stick it onto the car to make sure you get the fitment right. The clips are extremely clever. So the way it works is that you clip it onto the car, then you use a screw to attach the side skirt to the clip. Essentially, this is giving you the effect of being drilled in, but you aren't drilling into the car. Very clever. You can see where the screws go on the side skirt. Stick on the template, then attach the clips. They attach this way, so make sure you don't do it backwards. For the clips that go along the underside, you can see that they are the exact same size as the original rubber seals. Just another one of the benefits of going with an OEM kit since everything is the original size. Now let's prepare the side skirt. Peel off the backing from the double-sided tape just slightly so that you can have enough room to grab onto when you need to peel it off. I'm using painter's tape to hold down the edge to prevent it from going anywhere. Then lay the side skirt onto the car and attach all of the clips. Once the clips are in, you can release the backing from the double-sided tape. Press firmly once it's released. Do it for the rest of the double-sided tape and that concludes this install. These side skirts turned out amazing and I'm super happy with everything. If you enjoyed this video and want to see many more videos just like this one, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more stuff to my car because, hint, hint, if you look at the front bumper, I've got something there too. So yeah, definitely stay tuned because I have a lot more planned for this car. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.